so many of you are relying too heavily on just the pictures on Instagram and not adding context and copy. Take the exit, then we keep right onto there. Wisconsin 54 East. You know, I actually haven't got pulled over in a while. This is definitely in the interest. Where are you guys heading to? Oh, we're going up to Little Surgeon Bay up there. We want to do some small off mission and some video. If I write you at that ticket, your license is, gets suspended. Well, hopefully they're biting today. It's been so cold. Yeah. Thank you. Sorry about that. Let sir. me. I'm gonna write your warning. Homie said, hopefully they're biting. <laughs> <laughs> oh What's up, gang? I'm up in Chicago with AP Bass, and we're gonna start this episode off. We just got pulled over, man, doing slightly over the speed limit. You're gonna have to watch AP's video to Maybe get the whole. Yeah. <laughs> we could have been going a lot over the speed limit. We might get pulled over again if you decides to skip cruise control. Uh, yeah, I know, I need to watch this, so bad. <laughs> Here's what's going on, y'all. I just flew up to Chicago, AP invited me up to do a little filming with him, uh, Guggen HQ opening day. <laughs> so what I do, I hopped on Expedia, grabbed the plane ticket, and look at us now, we're getting pulled over, going 80 and 55. Uh, <laughs> on our way up to Sturgeon Bay, I've never been to this place, we're gonna fish for some smallmouth today. I've never caught a smallmouth. I remember the first time going out to like Miami and catching peacock bass, just something different, it's always a ton of fun. Sounds like I've got an opportunity to possibly hook into some other species I've never caught. Back with you guys whenever we get to the ramp but I also want to drop in a keynote presentation in the description honestly it's pretty crazy and I feel it's appropriate we just got finished listening to this 2019 social media keynote by Gary V <laughs> and honestly it's funny guys the only reason I'm even fishing with AP today or involved in any of this Guggen stuff is for one because I got inspired to start the channel because of the guys but then also I've been really hustling on Instagram since November it's about six months later and uh, and and through that growth has come a lot of opportunity with the people like Favorite, MTB, and then also the Googans. And so I feel like it's valuable information for any of you guys that might want to start your own channel or looking at your own Instagram growth or trying to promote your fishing. So I'm gonna go ahead and drop this keynote presentation right at the top of the description by Gary V. Give it a listen, I'm telling you what, you're gonna love it, and then I'm gonna cut straight to the fishing, man. Let's get right into it. I'll catch you guys back at the ramp. All right, we just rocked up to Spencer's place, our guide for the day. He's got a sweet setup out here, man. Check this out. Got the boat in here and all the rigs, my goodness. I'm blown away by you every time I see you. <laughs> <laughs> We're just catching up out here, you guys. <laughs> the baits, that's all to do. All right, 1777. Buddy goes, come back and tell me if you catch any on the rubbers. <laughs> Did you buy a Snickers bar? Alright y'all, we just dropped in. We just hit the tackle shop, aka the gas station. Picked up the best soft plastics for 2019. And we're going to get this thing started, baby. I cannot wait. Just rocked up to the first spot, you guys. Water is crystal clear. This is nuts. Here's a couple beds here. Scoping this thing out. Wow. Guys, there's smallmouth all over the place. Okay. We're going with the white bird spinning. That's an actually expensive reel. This is an expensive reel. Wes, this your first smallmouth bass ever. Pumped. Wes's first smallmouth bass ever. Three pounder. Hey, hey, that's a little secret bait you can't show him yet. Oh, Perfect. what do I do with this thing? This ain't no largey. Yo, bada bing, bada boom. First one ever, guys, in the books. Appreciate Spence over here. That's awesome. First bass for Wes. No, for Smalley, sorry. For Smalley. I don't really catch bass bed, either, honestly. It wasn't like the <laughs> traditional bed fish, so like we couldn't really see the bed. Yeah, we were kind of- We kinda... kind of cast it in an area where we knew there was a bed, but we couldn't see it meet it, so. That's wicked, man. Yeah, super sick. First one ever, man, I'm pumped. Good work. Get her back in the water, y'all. You good? Oh, that's a slow-mo right there. Oh. <laughs> Let's get some more. Dude, this jerky's pretty good. You didn't eat that. <laughs> you know our bait right now? Alright guys, well, my audio decided to crap out on me once again. I'm gonna make sure this does not happen anymore. I'm just gonna stop using mics on the GoPros for a while, I think. All I'm hearing is static, and you'll be able to hear in just a second. It even happened on a most recent vlog I uploaded, but that was like weeks ago, and it's been working fine since then. So here's my static catch.
Okay, so here's me walking over all excited, showing you guys we caught him on the beef jerky. Second ever smallmouth catch. They've got the clips on their big camera, but uh, Wes is out of town and has the hard drive, so I'm not able to get it from him. Otherwise, I'd include that clip in here. So let's just keep on fishing. All right, gang, the next contender in the crazy bait challenge is going to be the dragon drop in watermelon red. I'm talking about pink and blue. I'm thinking we can make something happen with this right here. I'm going to chop a little piece down, toss it on that net hook, and we're going to put us something together. I'm going to call it number three. Number three for the day. I chopped down that dragon drop, and I'm throwing it on pink braid. This is just all pink today, ladies and gentlemen. This is just flawless, flawless victory right here. This is going to be, this is going to crush them. I, I already know this one's going to hit. What just went on? <laughs> oh, oh my god! Dude, he literally had it in his mouth. It's a big fish, dude. Huh? It was in its mouth. Gotcha, bitch! Yeah! That's fish number three for me. That came on the watermelon dragon drop. Check this sucker out right here. Ooh, yeah. We're using about a third of that baby on the little jig head. Is that what that is? Jig head? Yeah. yeah, rocking and rolling. About the smallest presentation we've seen all day. That came on the uh, favorite white bird too, y'all. You can check the link in the description for 20% off and pick that rod up for like just around 50 bucks, man. It's absolute bargain. Yanking these smallmouth up here in Wisconsin. Did we put this in a condom? Yeah, we tried. It was kind of big. Where's the camera? Hey. This guy's following the shadow of the boat. Fish? Yeah, big one. Can you catch him? I'm, I'm, you gotta wait, you're better off. Oh, dude, you're gonna get him. Pop it, you see him, right? <laughs> you got this, you got, here we go. She's got it, she's got it, she's got it. There we go, that's the shot. <laughs> that's a good one, that's a good one. Come here. Okay. We kind of caught her. <laughs> she got off the hook. <laughs> but that was my fourth one of the day. On the uh, dragon drop, we changed the color up on her and uh, we went with the drop shot setup. Appreciate you. I'm going to go ahead and leave Spence link down in the description for you guys in case you want to come out here on Lake Michigan with him. He knows the spots and we're just messing around the whole first half of the day, but you can get some amazing fish out here with this dude. He's always catching big ones. I think we're going to wrap things up, you guys. Call it and go eat a little pizza at the Wild Tomato. So we're going to get Wes back in the boat and <laughs> dry it off and then head to lunch. Appreciate you guys for watching. Peace. That's that. What up, y'all? Back from Chicago. Just wanted to jump in here and explain to you guys what's been happening on a couple of my recent videos with the GoPro mic. That way you guys understand because it can happen to any of us. The king is kind of going crazy. Let me just noise. This is the king. I don't think he's been featured in a video before, but um, I'm going to let him hang out. He might stay put. He might not. So how you have to run things if you have a Hero 5 or 6 or 7 is with this $50 mic adapter right here, which is fine. So let me show you, it works 99% of the time, it just decides to not work every once in a while. Here's what has to happen, you have to leave the side door off, you plug in the mic adapter, that's plugged in, then you plug in any old mic, it can be a cheap mic, it can be an expensive mic, you plug that in, and I just keep that mic right on my chest mount. Basically guys, you're filming your vlog, you're getting crisp clean audio, I had to put him on the other shoulder because he's going nuts, and then you gotta switch GoPro batteries about every hour. You could use a portable charger, I don't do that, uh, but that's another alternative. So you gotta switch your GoPro batteries about every hour, which means you have to take the mic adapter off 
to get your GoPro out of the housing to switch your battery. You switch your battery, you put it back in the housing, you replug in your adapter, and just every once in a while the connection decides it's not good. I don't know if it's this connection going to the adapter or the adapter to the GoPro, but you'll get a whole 45 minutes to an hour's worth of footage for during that whole uh, GoPro battery that just doesn't get any audio. It's just completely static because the connection's not there, and that's exactly what happened during a couple clips in this vlog and in a previous vlog, and for sure in one more that I need to edit and post up on YouTube. So I just want you guys to be aware of that. A lot of the Googans don't even use mics anymore because of these issues, and so it's like, what's the foolproof way of going about it? Not using a mic at all. The audio is not quite as high a quality, but it's just something you deal with. Uh, I noticed a lot of them use the Hero 4s. Those get a little bit better audio, in my opinion, out of the box, just because they're not a waterproof housing, and so I think that affects it slightly. But uh, if you're using a Hero 5, 6, or 7, you gotta use the mic adapter and you probably will have the connection not work on you every once in a while. It's happened to multiple other vloggers I know, so just be prepared for it. Just wanted to throw that in before we end today's vlog. He's getting excited. He likes being outside of the tank. He's getting bright yellow. We're gonna go ahead and wrap this one up, you guys. I just wanted to throw in my two cents on the mic adapter thing. It really sucks, but I'm gonna probably stop using a mic for most of my videos just because we run into these issues. So uh, that's that. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to drop a like, subscribe for the first ever small mouth video on the channel, and we'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out. <gasps>